Hello friends, welcome to the new video series. Friends, as all of you know that Nibosh has started the new scenario based questions. So from now onwards we will be going to see what are the possible scenario based questions which you can face in the interview and in the exam. So I have tried my level best to make sure that all the questions which we discussed now onwards shall be in the scenario based mode. Also, like most of the subscribers who used to ask, is there any changes in the syllabus? No, there is no change in the syllabus. You have to learn the same syllabus, the same content, but you have to understand the concepts and you have to change the way you are studying. For example, earlier if the Nibosh used to ask what is the procedure for accident investigation, this time they may give you a scenario where they will ask you you found an accident happened in your factory or in your site then what is the next steps you will do so you have to understand friends the concept is same this is how or this is what we call the scenario based questions the concept is same the content you have to understand you have to write the same content but you have to understand the concepts that is what the difference in the scenario based questions and the regular questions what Nibosh ask so let us start our first question in the role of a safety officer why it is important for you to make sure that all persons are aware of their roles and responsibilities for health and safety in your organization so through this question nibosh wants to know after studying this course when you apply these concepts in your field what you will get how can you improve your health and safety so the answer for this will be organizing health and safety requires team efforts from everyone in order to bring collective enthusiasm skills and efforts you have to explain if the question is of more mark if it is of less mark you can just write the points similarly you can write to prevent any accident or ill health rather than blaming individual for the accident which occurs similarly for developing a good health and safety culture now we see the second question define the standard health and safety culture as per your understanding from the course what you understand from the course the definition of health and safety culture so we will see the shared attitudes values beliefs and behaviors which are relating to health and safety is defined as health and safety culture now the third question in the high risk area you found the unexpected presence of visitors Give two reasons why visitors to a workplace might be at greater risk of injury than an employee. So you have noticed the presence of visitors in your company or in your premises. So what are the reasons? The visitors are unfamiliar with workplace processes, the hazards and the associated risks. They will have a lack of knowledge of the site or the premises layout. They may come in contact of any hidden hazards which are available in the site in question they have asked for only for two reasons but i am giving you most of the points so that you can write and you can memorize any points which you remember in the exam also you can write they may not have appropriate pp they are not familiar with the emergency procedures and or means of escape now friends let us see the fourth question Considering the above scenario which we have discussed in question number 3, what further actions will be taken by you as a safety professional to prevent the risk to those visitors? So we will see the answer. The visitors signing in and being provided with a site escort. Whenever they come in and come out it has to be registered. Providing the appropriate PPE and identity badges which are very useful to identify if the visitors have entered your site. So these two points you can write. Apart from this you can also write providing simple induction procedures with a short video and information on site rules, hazards and emergency procedures. It can also help them. Similarly, clear making of walkway and area where unauthorized people are not permitted. The fifth question, two organizations share the same workplace and thus increasing the risk for everyone. Brief out the suggestions to management to make sure they could cooperate to achieve good health and safety standards. So you can write, workforce from both organization should be aware of hazards related to both the organization, which is very important to control the risks 
to others there should be one safety committee between them to discuss all the problems and all the uh, issues in the site similarly they should have common minimum safety programs they must follow single window safety system monitoring and review of the performance with help of incident and accident data common inspection plans must be there they must cooperate with each other they must coordinate with other organization in order to comply with all the legal requirements now the sixth question contractors are hired in your company to carry out a new major building project explain how you could reduce the risk to contractors before the start of and during the building project to execute the project safely this is a very important questions because you can expect some questions related to contractors the documents which need to be verified with the contractor before starting a work and this question also so we will see how to write the answer the initial selection of a competent contractor has to be done ensuring they had sufficient resources and had allowed sufficient time and as i discussed all the resources and all the documents need to be checked that you can also mention in this point also you can write need to share information with the contractor on the particular risks in the working area sharing the location of hazardous materials such as asbestos and the location of services such as the electricity water and gas and other pipes general site safety rules such as a smoking policy and reference to the host employer's safety policy also any requirements for permits to work for certain work activities similarly accident reporting procedures emergency procedures must be known it must be familiar to them informing them of the location of welfare facilities including the first aid while the building work was in progress there would have to be ongoing cooperation and coordination with the contractor with regular monitoring of performance in ensuring the health and safety of both their and their organizations workers the seventh question it was noted that there is a deterioration in the health and safety culture in your organization as a safety you are advised by your management to list out the factors that could have contributed to the deterioration and suggest the ways to improve so you can write lack of leadership and commitment at senior level an inadequate level of supervision a high sickness ill health and absentee rate among the workforce similarly the perception of blame culture lack of consultation and worker involvement lack of compliance with relevant health and safety law lack of effective communication to workers lack of motivation among the workforce also lack of the health and safety training a weak health and safety management structure downturn in the economy leading to a lack of investment and resources and a fear for job security so these are the causes and you have to write how you can improve against each point which you can easily write against these points in your answer in the exam now the eighth question what are the ways of improving workers perception of hazards carrying out safety awareness campaigns using posters toolbox talks etc can help to improve workers perception of hazards developing a training programs to increase awareness of the hazard and its consequences can help to improve worker perception of hazards also ensuring that there is a adequate lightning provided for doing particular works also removing distractions such as noise which could result in a worker not hearing a, any warning or the dangers or excessive heat which can cause fatigue the ninth question you are advised by the management to improve the perception of hazard and risk what are the various factors that can distort a person's perception of hazard and risk so the factors are they are suffering from an illness for example flu and so they are not processing information very well 
they are under stress and so other issues may be dominating their thinking and their working capabilities they may be fatigued and so not alert or capable of responding quickly to circumstances they may be under the influence of drugs or alcohol they have past personal experience that is skewing or overcoming their thinking they may not have received good quality training and education on the hazards and the risk of the job they may be required to wear pp that is interfering with their ability to detect the hazards which are creating the risk workplace conditions such as high level of noise may be interfering with their ability to correctly identify the hazards that creates the risk the 10th question give reasons why it is important to use a variety of methods to communicate health and safety information in the workplace so you can write to have a positive impact of health and safety campaign to involve members from each section of organization to ensure the campaign communicated to all level effectively to make sure that everyone understands it individually variety prevents over familiarization with one method and there helps to reinforce a message it also helps to overcome barriers such as illiteracy and the boredom the 11th question your management have decided to put valuable health and safety informations on work site notice board for better communication and need your help to do so what are the four types of health and safety information that might usefully be displayed on a notice board within a workplace so you have to suggest the four types of health and safety informations which you can put it, put on on the notice board in your workplace so let us see the answer so you can write a copy of employer's liability insurance certificate which you can display the details of first aid arrangements which you had made for your workers emergency evacuations and fire procedures has to be displayed so that they can understand it very clearly minutes of the last health and safety committee meetings has to be displayed so that they can know what was discussed between the managements details of health and safety targets and performance against them health and safety posters and campaign details for better understanding the last question in the above scenario after posting informations there was a feedback that most of the people are not able to get proper information from your notice board as a safety professional how the effectiveness of notice boards as a means of communicating health and safety information to the workforce can be maximized from your side so you can write there should be well positioned within the workplace so that maximum people can see it properly there must be regular review of the notices to ensure that they are up to date and relevant highlighting the serious issues by use of posters and graph charts in the workplace also the use of local workforce language for the easy understanding and effective use of notice board now we will see our last question what is induction training how for new employees it can help to reduce the number of accidents in the workplace here first you have to write what is induction training induction training is not only in there in safety it is there everywhere it means the training which is given to the new employees when they join your company or join any workplace so that they can understand the basic uh, rules regulations which your company the protocols which your company is following up in an organization so we will see how it can help uh, the new employees in reducing the accidents because it provides the trainee with information which is necessary for his her safety in respect of hazards that may be encountered at various stages of development to full job competence also introducing the new employee to the culture of the organization the emphasis that it places upon the health and safety so friends don't forget to share this video with your other friends who is preparing for the nibosh exam and the most important thing is don't forget to press that red button on the side which is the subscribe button because it is very important that you shall be in touch with me for further videos